Are you ready? All the way from Brooklyn in New York. The jet flying. JKL. Limousine riding. JKL. Wheeling dealing. JKL. Kiss stealing. JKL. Trail blazing. JKL. Eyebrow raising. AKL. Jabroni beat. JKL. Pie eating. JKL. Art stopping. JKL. Nail ball dropping. JKL. Son of a gun. JKL. People's champ. JKL. Awesome. What's up, peeps? L Awesome of the JKL Awesome, and happy May the 4th, Star Wars Day. And you know what that means, Star Wars content. Check it out. The time has come. Execute Order 66. I have a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, quiet. Whoa. Do it. All right, guys, so this video is my top 10 most expensive uh, or most valuable Star Wars Funko Pops. Now, I wasn't gonna do anything for May the 4th this year or Star Wars Week as some are calling it. Um, I didn't do anything last year and I was like, ah, oh, how could I miss Star Wars Week, blah, blah, blah. And then this year I was like, I'm gonna make sure to do something. And then of course, here we are. I wasn't gonna do anything <laughs> again. I was like, ah, oh, it's all right. People know I'm a Star Wars fan, but got an idea from Slapshot Pops. Uh, I just watched it live. Their 2K, congratulations, Subs <laughs> 2K subscriber live. And they mentioned that um, they were dropping a video of their top 10 most expensive Star Wars Pops in their collection. And I was like, you know what? I can do that because I'm gonna do my top 10 most expensive Pops video, which should be out next week by the time this comes out. Um, so I was like, you know what? Just do my top 10 Star Wars. But I'm gonna link their video if it's already out by the time this drops up there or in the description. So definitely go to Slapshot Pops, check out their Star Wars video of their top 10 most expensive um, Star Wars Pops. Uh, I guarantee it's gonna be better than mine because I've seen some of their Star Wars collection. Their lowest is probably higher than my highest. So definitely check out that video. Congratulate them from hit for hitting 2K subs. And with that said, here we go. Um, my number 10 is a tie. I have two pops uh, worth $50 in my Star Wars collection. Um, so I'm gonna call this one number 10. This is my uh, Concept Series Darth Vader from uh, the Galacticon, the only Galacticon pop I really cared to get, so I'm glad I was able to get it. Um, this is $50. And I know I got this weird camera angle. I was trying to show off my Star Wars side. Because <laughs> I had this whole section of Star Wars. And then Chase gave me that Star Wars um, display. So, you know, thank you, Chase's Kingdom. Okay, anyway. Um, and I'm calling this one number nine, even though it's pretty much tied. Um, my Mace Windu, uh, Walgreens exclusive, $50. Uh, this is actually a recent pickup for me. I got this from Hypnotronic Comics when I went to go pick up my... Galactus, um, 10 inch Galactus family. And they had this and I was like, oh, definitely getting it. And I almost dropped it, but $50. You know, so I'm my Blue Harvest. Anybody who knows, you know, if you don't know, look it up. Okay, um, <laughs> number eight is also a tie. Um, I've got the Shadow Stormtrooper. It's not a protector because I didn't know it was worth that much. Um, <laughs> I typically put anything that's like 50 or higher, I start putting them in protectors. Didn't know this past the $50 mark, so $55. This just came in the, um, the set with those. I'm surprised Revan isn't that high. Like the, the Shadow Trooper <laughs> went to 55, and I think Revan is at like 45. So there's uh, the Shadow Trooper. And also at 55 is my young Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Smuggler's Bounty when uh, I was actually a part of the Smuggler's Bounty subscription way back when. When they first started, I was sub to them for the first about year and a half. So yeah, all the first year and a half ones I got and everything after that is hit or miss. And of course you have uh, Grievous and Obi-Wan, I mean Qui-Gon in that set also. That was seven. Number six is another tie. 
between two pops that <laughs> one went down in value a little bit. That's Django Fett, the Walgreens exclusive. Uh, I actually bought this pop on a whim. It's not even mint. It has like a ding in the corner. But I was in uh, my local Walgreens, which isn't there anymore. <laughs> it's funny. All the stores around me where I got my pop from are closing down. I think I gave them enough business. But anyway, um, yeah, it's dinged in the box right there. You can see the bend and it's dinged up there. But it was Django Fett. It was sitting there. I wasn't going to buy it. And I said, you know what? I might as well because I don't see me getting it any other, any place else for this price because it was still retail and glad I got it. So that is $60. Um, also at $60, surprise, surprise, Cara Dune. Um, I wanted to get the newer Cara Dune that came out. I didn't get it. Of course, she got fired from the show, the actress who plays Cara Dune. Um, I'm blanking on her name right now and I don't understand why because I love her. But um, <laughs> yeah, she got fired from the show and her pop skyrocketed. I didn't expect this to be 60 bucks. Again, why it's not in a protector. Cause I'm like, really? I literally just looked these up when I got home from work today. So yeah, uh, Cara Dune, 60 bucks. Glad I got it. <laughs> Number four, All By Him Lonesome, Darth Maul, Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. Um, I love this one. It's the shirtless version from uh, Rebels with the tattoos. Uh, here go the other Rebels characters. I ended up not picking up any of them. And I loved pretty much the whole cast. I should have got Sabine when I had the chance because I love Sabine in that show. But anyway, Darth Maul, $75. Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. And uh, number three, another tie. <laughs> This one, I uh, just finished talking about Rebels, um, the Ahsoka from Hot Topic. This used to be my most valuable Star Wars pop. It was like 110, but it dropped, obviously, to $80. Um, here's the other Sabine I wanted, the masked one, which I didn't get. I think that was another Hot Topic exclusive. But I got Ahsoka, I'm happy for it. Uh, $80, and also $80, bam! The Boba Fett ECCC exclusive, shared, shared exclusive. <laughs> the actual Target, uh, not Target, the con sticker for ECCC last year, Boba Fett is worth 155. But this one, the shared exclusive sticker is $80. Um, of course, on the Funko app, it lists it at 155 because the Funko app doesn't differentiate between the stickers, so I had to go to Pop Price Guide. So yes, this one is also $80. And my number one most expensive Funko Pop is, drum roll, no drum roll, it's Boba Fett. <laughs> Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, the flying version of Boba Fett. You can't really see it in there, but the picture, here's the better picture. His base is like the smoke from his jetpack. He's taken off. Um, this is an awesome pop. I wanted to display this out of box so bad, but $85, it's staying in the box. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not taking this out. So that's my number one. So here's my top 10 most valuable, most expensive uh, Star Wars pops. Um, don't forget, check out Slapshot Pops. They gave me this idea, so I'm definitely going to give them credit for it. Go check out the channel, like, sub, um, and hit the bell. Um, tell them JKL Awesome sent you. Um, thank them. Congratulate them on hitting 2K. <laughs> Hit up Chase's Kingdom for giving me that awesome display. Thank you. Appreciate it. And um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Um, if you like what you saw here and you want to see more, sub to the channel. If you want to know when my videos drop, don't forget to hit the bell. Comment down below whatever you like. Check out my Patreon. It's going to be in the description. You'll see me next time. Peace. Remember, the Force will be with you always.